Recently, Microsoft launched a significant update to their upcoming Windows 10 operating system. In this event, they showed off a wide range of new apps and UI elements, and also gave us a preview of Windows 10 on a wide range of other devices. While you can't get Windows 10 on your phones or Xboxes just yet, you can get it via the Windows Insider program for your PC. Watch on to find out how to sign up for the Windows Insider program, then download and install Windows 10 on the virtual machine, VirtualBox. First go and download VirtualBox from the link in the description. Be sure to download the correct one for your operating system. While that is downloading, let's go and get Windows 10. To download Windows 10, we first need to sign up as a Windows Insider. To do this, go to insider.microsoft.com or click on the Step 1 link in the description. Now go to Get Started, then sign in with your Microsoft account or create a new one if you haven't already done so before. Now just select your area of interest and click Submit. You should now be enlisted as an Insider. Now that you are an Insider, you can go and download the ISO file which we will use to install Windows 10 on VirtualBox. To get it, click on the Step 2 link and then click on the language that you want to use on the operating system. At this point, select the x64 or the x86 version of the operating system, depending on whether your computer runs Windows in 32 or 64 bit. If you don't know which one to use, press the Windows button and the E button on your keyboard, then click on System Properties. Your system type should be listed here. Download the x64 version for the 64 bit and the x86 version for 32 bit. Now while Windows 10 is downloading, open up your VirtualBox setup once it has finished downloading. Click on it and go ahead and install it. Once it is on your computer, you will need to wait for Windows 10 to finish. This may take a while, so go ahead and play Team Fortress or something while you are waiting. Once it is finally done, open up VirtualBox. You should see nothing here, but I already installed Windows 10 beforehand, so that's why I have that here. Just click on the new icon at the top of the page, then put whatever name you want into the box. Leave the type as Microsoft's Windows and set the version to Windows 8.1, 64 or 32 bit, depending on what type of Windows you downloaded. Now set how much RAM you want for the operating system. The more RAM Windows has, the better it will be in multitasking. So decide what balance of RAM between the virtual machine and your main operating system will be best. Now create a new virtual hard drive and click next. On this step you must choose either dynamically allocated if you want your hard drive space on your virtual machine to dynamically change when you add or remove files from it or a fixed size if you want all the hard drive space that you will set to be immediately allocated to the operating system. After choosing an option hit next. Change the location that the Windows virtual machine will be installed in if you want then set an appropriate amount of hard drive space for your virtual machine and press create. That window should then close and you should see the Windows 10 option you just created. Click on it and press start. A box should now appear asking you to navigate to the Windows 10 ISO you previously downloaded. Click on the folder icon, then navigate to the ISO file and double click on it. Then start. After waiting for a bit you should be presented with the Windows setup screen. Select your language, then press next, then install. Accept the license, then click on custom, where you will need to click on the hard drive, and then select new, and then apply. After you do that, press next. Windows 10 should then begin installing. This may take a while, so go off and do something else if you don't feel like waiting. Once you wait it out, or get back after a while, you should see this screen. I would recommend using the express settings, but you can customize them if you want. Now sign in with the same Microsoft account that you signed up to the Windows Insider program with and you should be done. Enjoy testing Windows 10 out and be sure to leave Microsoft feedback if you have any. Also if you have any questions for me be sure to leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And be sure to subscribe to see more how-to videos. Thank you for watching.